we can return to Plan A in England and allow Plan B regulations to expire. As a result, from the start of Thursday next week, mandatory certification will end. Organisations can, of course, choose to use the NHS COVID pass voluntarily, but we will end the compulsory use of COVID status certification in England. From now on, the government is no longer asking people to work from home. And people should now speak to their employers about arrangements for returning to the office. And having looked at the data carefully, the Cabinet concluded that once regulations lapse, the government will no longer mandate the wearing of face masks anywhere. Mr Speaker, Mr. Speaker, Mr. Speaker from, from, tomorrow, from tomorrow we will no longer require face masks in classrooms and the Department, and the Department for Education will shortly remove national guidance uh, on their use in communal areas. In the country at large we will continue to suggest the use of face coverings in enclosed or crowded spaces, particularly when you come into contact with people you don't normally meet, but we will trust the judgment of the British people and no longer criminalise anyone who chooses not to wear one. The Government will also ease restrictions further on visits to care homes, and my right honourable friend the Secretary of State for Health and Social Care will set out plans in the coming days. Mr Speaker, as we return to Plan A, the House will know that some measures still remain, including those on self-isolation. Hello guys, this is Risa from Risa's House. I hope you're all doing fantastic on this fine day. So guys, I am just here to update you a little bit about what's going on out there. So, finally, England has come to its senses. They are forfeiting the mandatory mask wearing, mandatory jab. They are scrapping all those things. Kids can go back to school uh, without wearing the mask. Uh, people can go back to work in the office, no more work at home. They're forfeiting the whole shebang. Everything goes back to normal next week. <laughs> Isn't that unbelievable? That is absolutely unbelievable. They're not going to ask anyone if they've taken a jab. If someone wants to take it, that's their prerogative. They don't want to take it, that is still their prerogative. I am just in shock. I wonder how many other countries are going to follow suit now. Is uh, Australia going to follow suit? Because you know, they are the strictest in enforcing this uh, forced jabbing and isolation for people that don't take the jab. But now that England has set the pace, let's see what they do and who follows suit. Will the US follow suit? Will Canada follow suit now that England has set the pace? What's going to happen with all of these things that they have in place for people and people in, has to go in isolation and stuff? You know, this is not the first time the world has been in a pandemic and it will not be the last. We have to learn to adjust. We have to learn to make concession. We have to learn how to live with a pandemic. There are things you can do, definitely. And <laughs> I guess England has seen the truth. They've seen the light. They have come to their senses. And this is what it is. So kudos to England. And let's see who follows next. I'm going to place the video that Boris, the president, no, sorry, the prime minister of England just stated that it's over. Alrighty, guys, thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to this video. Yeah, you. I would love to have you over here. So you take care, be good to yourself, and be good to someone else.